Hello, Raw Food Rehab. It's Monday, April the 19th, and that means we're already on day 10 of our brand new 11-week Total Health and Wellness Initiative. Um, I've got some deep thoughts that I want to share with you today. I know that's a little quacky because normally I save my deep thoughts for Thursday, but they're bubbling up on Monday. So it's time. I'm going to go ahead and bring forth what I have on my heart. Um, one of the things that I set out to do, personal goal that I set for myself at the beginning of this 11-week initiative was that I wanted to get back to an old practice that I've probably, I probably started cultivating it before I even knew what I was doing, maybe around 15, 14 even, and that is the practice of journaling my thoughts. Um, I used to do it a ton when I was younger, before I became a mom and a wife and the, you know, I don't have to tell you, I did it a lot. So I don't do it as much nowadays because I'm busy with life, um, but I've started doing it. And so today I want to share with you from my journal and it's personal, but I think it's relevant and I think that what I'm sharing from my personal life may ignite something and inspire something in you. It may trigger something in you. And so I feel like I want to share it. So two parts today and then the, the, the rest of what I have to share I'm going to be putting up tomorrow. So I'm going to read, just read to you. I've uploaded this, I've typed it in to my computer so I can put it as text underneath this video. So um, if you just, if you prefer to read as opposed to watching the video, you're going to get the same thing. So I'm going to start now. Visualization is the key ingredient for success in any endeavor. So often as I sit here at this computer screen logged into Raw Food Rehab, I'm looking around the mansion and I am simply amazed at all the events that have somehow conspired to bring us where we are today. I mean, there's been a lot that's happened in the last five years for sure in my life that's brought me here today. And I know that there's plenty of life-changing things that have brought you where you are and how you got to be here watching my video today. During the day, usually listening to the silence as I'm working, I'm aware of a great sense of gratitude for many things, but specifically for this fruition of the divinely inspired vision and how it is helping to create a space of community, support, and happiness, and healthy empowerment in the lives of so many people. I'm in awe that the very thing that happens to bring my heart joy and makes my heart sing became a vision, and it's now actually a reality in the lives of many people, and their lives are daily being changed in the process. But most importantly, it's my own life <laughs> that I feel like is really the one that's changing so much because of all of this. I grew up, and I had this idea that in order to be happy and healthy and successful and wealthy, you had to really struggle, and you had to work super hard, toiling, late night hours, um, you had to work so hard, in fact, that you probably didn't have a whole lot of time left over to do anything more than to count your money at the end of the day. And once you had that money, you had to do everything in your power to keep it, to hang tight to it, and not let anybody else get to it. Um, that's what somehow, I don't know if that was the 80s mentality of wealth, but somehow that crept into my thinking. Um, but you know, so much has changed in my heart and mind, and I realized that that belief that I had is no longer serving me, even though a lot of people still have that belief, a lot of my friends still have that belief, I believe it is totally incorrect, it no longer serves me or works at all anymore. Um, you know, although I spend way over eight hours a day on, um, on the internet, you know, I, I spend all this time doing what I love to do now. I don't even feel like I've ever worked one hard day since I made this transition, um, making it a career and a lifestyle choice to walk away from what I knew for so many years into what I do right now today, working with others in this realm of natural health and healing and raw foods. Seriously, every time that I log into the internet, give a lecture, write an article, talk to somebody on the phone, make a video for the website, I always have this feeling of gratitude, especially once I'm finished with it, whatever I'm doing, I just am in awe. And and oftentimes I'm in disbelief because um, 
there still is that remnant in my psyche, that old thinking that says, unless I'm making lots of money and I'm being competitive and I'm keeping my nose to the grindstone and I'm one-upping the next person, um, then I'm probably not doing anything that's worthwhile or of purpose in my life. I want to just be clear that I'm not against hard work at all. As a matter of fact, I really think that working on focus and with purpose is a, a great thing. And, um, and so, but the word hard, it shouldn't be hard. It shouldn't be a toil. It shouldn't be, um, it shouldn't feel unnatural to you. So what I'm believing now, I've got some things that I've listed out. My new, my new belief structure over the last five years, I would say this has sort of evolved. I believe in excellence in the pursuit of doing that in which you are most gifted to do. Sustained perseverance in attaining your goals. Having a clear vision. Operating in patience and with always with practicing what we've been learning to do. We keep practicing it. Having personal integrity ethical awareness, and acknowledging your own limitations, yet seeking a way to move beyond those limitations. All of which those things I just said, um, if, you, if you don't love and are, aren't passionate about what you're doing, your life is going to seem like really hard work. As I look back on my life, specifically when I was back in the business world as a business owner, I would say, there were many, many moments of challenge and hardship. And I'm realistic enough to know that, that there's going to be more of that down the road. I know that that's going to happen. And as a matter of fact, sometimes I have found that when you put yourself into change and transformation, that seems to be the very time when adversity strikes. And some of you have already been there in this 11-week initiative. You've set your mind. You've set your intentions. You've set your goals. And boom, something major has gone down in your life to try to derail you. I say, it's almost like somebody's trying to find out what you're really made of and how serious you are about keeping your focus and believing in your dreams. When I made the decision to start Raw Food Rehab, believe me, there were plenty, plenty of oppositional circumstances that tried to thwart this vision and what this vision has become. There were voices, literal, audible voices telling me, you cannot do this, and who are you to think that you can even try? And then there was the other part of the reality equation, putting all of this energy and love into spending my time working in the raw and living foods movement, natural health, helping others, helping them encourage, helping encourage you along the path to help you find um, more health and healing. Well, it didn't really look like a real lucrative financial situation, if you know what I mean. Um, I mean, I've got bills to pay. I've got a daughter who's going to be going away to college next year, hopefully. Um, I, mean, I, I could go on and on. I don't need to because you've got that same set of circumstances yourself. But after much soul searching, counseling with my sweet, precious, supportive husband, much prayer and meditation, I realized that right here is where I want to be. It's where I feel called to be. And so stepping out of faith... Really, that's what it was. Walking away from this very lucrative, stable, and thriving profession that I'd been working in all this time, it has forced me to go deeper and to cultivate an attitude of optimism, gratitude, and faith in something much larger than myself. I believe that God created me for purpose. He gave me a vision, and then He is sending key people along my path to come beside me and share that vision. Some of these beloved people have come into the picture for important seasons in my life and vice versa, I in their lives, while others will likely walk the same path along with us for a very long time. But I also realize that if everyone were to abandon me at this point, as long as I have the vision and the dream in my heart and in my mind, and I believe in every cell of my being that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, I know that I'll keep doing it. I know that I'm going to be here, and I know that I'm going to be on focus. Um, so that's part one of what I wrote in my journal just this last weekend, and I will be back to share part two with you tomorrow. You know I love you. I hope some of this is speaking to you because you've got situations in your own life I know that are unfolding. So I'd love to hear what your thoughts are so far in this part of it, and then we'll go deeper tomorrow. Love you. Bye.